Hey everybody, welcome back to another breakdown video. This one is going to be a little bit different since we're going to be looking at the only recruitable pacifist, the Engineer. Let's start off with some general information as usual. The Engineer can be recruited by both GDI and Nod from build level 2. The only requirements obviously for GDI a barracks and for Nod a hand of Nod. The Engineer costs 500 credits to construct, which is the second most expensive infantry unit in the game, with only the Commando being more expensive. This cost is very balanced though, since the Engineer has some very powerful abilities, which we will get into later. The Engineer has a Sight of 2, which is quite good considering that most other units have a Sight of 1. The only unit that exceeds the Engineer is the Commando with a Sight of 5. Now let's do a little speed test, shall we? Here we have a Commando, an Engineer and a Bazooka. The Commando will win the speed test because he has a speed of 10, the Engineer will be second because he has a speed of 8, the Bazooka will be last because he only has a speed of 6. So let's try it out. Okay, so we're letting them run, run a race to down here. So let's see who wins. As I said, the commando is first with a speed of 10, the engineer is second with a speed of 8, and the bazooka is last with a speed of 6. Since there are no range and no attack values to talk about, we will get into the special properties of the engineer now. Engineer should always be a crucial part of the attack on an enemy's base, because they have the power to take over buildings. An engineer can walk up to an enemy construction yard and take it from them. From that moment, the construction yard will be yours, and you can do anything you want with it. You can sell it, repair it, and even use it to build structures that would otherwise be only available to your opponents. This works with almost every structure, except defensive ones. Guard towers, advanced guard towers, walls, and advanced communication centers are impossible to take over on the GDI side. For Nod, the list is as following. Turrets, obelisks, walls, and temples of Nod are not capturable by an engineer. One more interesting fact is that if the captured structure contains a unit, for example a refinery with a harvester inside, a helipad with a helicopter on top, then not only the building will be yours, the unit inside it will be too. Before we end, I want to quickly give you some tips and tricks for using the engineer in battle. Always take engineers with you in an assault against an enemy base. If you manage to take their construction yard, they will be unable to build any buildings, unless they have another construction yard or mobile construction vehicle. Since engineers are so easy to acquire early game though, your opponent will probably not have any of those things. And in the campaign, only the last couple of levels will have you face off against two or more construction yards. If you have multiple engineers, I recommend stealing refineries, unit production structures, and power plants as well, since those will disable base defense systems. All in all, the engineers are very powerful units, if used well. A couple of them can cripple a base in a matter of seconds. And all you have to do is clean out the rest. And that's gonna be it for this week's breakdown video. Before we end, I want to tell you that I will be live again on Saturday the 19th of December on Twitch. I will start at 10 a.m. GMT, I really hope I didn't mess it up this time, and I'll be speedrunning Command and Conquer. The link will be in the description, so come hang out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and feel free to let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe to never miss out on any Command & Conquer content ever again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!